Hello, my name is Scott Schlupp, and we're standing outside the entrance to the music department of Rocky Mountain High School to welcome you back to school and give you an idea of what you can expect from your music experience during this unprecedented time. Before we outline our thoughts, we'd like to introduce you to the instructors you'll have the opportunity to work with this year. For those of you singing, you'll be working with Elizabeth Howeiler and Chris Thompson. Also in the choir department, you'll have the opportunity to work with Kaylin Bailey, a student teacher from UNC. We've had a change in the orchestra department. Ms. Dowling recently took a position at a high school in Longmont where she's been living for the past four years. We're excited to welcome Sean Murphy to the Rocky Music Team. Sean started his teaching career in Wyoming, then in Poudre School District at Kennard Middle School. He studied in Germany and most recently taught at Thompson Valley High School and Walt Clark Middle School in Loveland. For those of you in the band, you'll be working with Mr. Sherman and me. We're also happy to have Ms. Pettinger, our department secretary, and Ms. Laban, our department accompanist, back for this year. It's a wonderful team, and we know that together with our fantastic students and super supportive administration, we'll have a fantastic fall, despite any obstacles we have to overcome. Hi, everyone. My name is Kenyon Sherman, one of the band directors at Rocky. If you're new here, welcome to the band room. One of the biggest questions right now is what will music classes look like? Becoming a well-rounded musician involves a mix of ensemble experiences, individual instruction, and theory, history, literature, styles, all of that study. We have a long-standing tradition at Rocky of uh, having outstanding ensembles, and we intend to continue that. We'll also continue teaching theory and history, and we'll also now have the chance to provide more individualized instruction. Each class will look slightly different, and each teacher will communicate out what that will look like. It may include some solo work, small ensembles, large ensembles, and all of this obviously modified to fit our current situation. Our main goal is to continue enjoying making music and preparing students so that when we're back in person, we can be successful and continue the outstanding tradition of music at Rocky. Hey, everybody. For those of you who don't know, my name is Elizabeth Howeiler and I'm one of the choir directors here at Rocky. And this is Kaylin Bailey. She is a student teacher from UNC and she will be student teaching with me and helping out with my choir classes this semester as well. So uh, we are both pretty pumped to be here and be in the choir room today. So, all right, this fall when we get started, each of our classes are going to occur during the regular scheduled class time, Monday through Thursday. Um, so what you can expect during that class time is a mixture of live direct instruction from your teachers as well as some individual time to work on any other music assignments or practice goals that you may have. For the crossovers, you guys are still going to have the opportunity to be in both classes and attend half of your class in your instrumental and half in vocal. And as teachers, we're being very sensitive to the workload to make sure that you are able to um, comfortably manage the expectations that we have for you under these circumstances. All right, so that being said, our hope is that all of the work that you need to complete for our classes is able to be done during that regular class time so that you're not having to spend a lot of time in the evenings or on weekends to do your music work. So another cool thing is that Fridays are designed for you to have as a catch-up day. So you can connect with your teachers and catch up on anything that you might have missed. So we'll all be available every Friday to help you if you need any additional support. And it'll also be really cool because it'll give us the opportunity to offer some other options for students who want some enrichment opportunities. So, like I said, I'm really happy to be back here at Rocky. I'm excited to be able to film some classes from our classroom and hope you guys are doing well. We look forward to seeing you soon. All right, take care. We will have a specific set of expectations for each of our classes, and you can find those on the Rocky Teacher Learning Pages, your one stop for information about what is happening in all of your classes. What is common in all of the music classes is an expectation that every student will communicate with their teachers. We will all be compassionate and help you with deadline extensions, extra help with technology, or ways you can keep up when you have to miss a class. But we need to know. We are asking all of our students to commit to clear, honest communication with your teachers. When you're experiencing problems, need to miss a class, or if something else is making your learning difficult. Parents, we ask that you help students with this important skill and we welcome your communication as well, so we can know the best way to help each of our students. 
We expect that students will log in to every class, actively participate, follow appropriate online learning norms, and work to stay caught up with assignments and expectations. Finally, we expect that students commit their 88 minutes of class each day to do their very best and approach this time with the most positive mental attitude possible. Hi everybody, for those of you who don't know, I'm Chris Thompson, one of the two choir directors here at Rocky. And if you haven't been here, this is our auditorium. So we may not be able to be here in person right now, but hopefully at some point we will. You might even have an online class in here. So we just wanted to make sure you're familiar with what the space feels like. Um, I'm gonna chat with you briefly about equipment, uniforms, and class fees. Um, with this constantly changing situations, we're trying to be very aware of what we're asking for, for you to, to pay or to pick up or to get. We just wanna make sure you know currently where we're at with everything. So at this point, we're not asking for anyone to have a performance outfit uniform um, or pay the fee for that. So you, that's on hold, you don't have to worry about doing that. But you might have a technology or notebook fee for your class. So you will be hearing from your directors and we'll be posting lists of uh, what you need for each class, depending what groups you are in. And your directors can talk to you about that as well. You'll also get the contact information for Mrs. Pettinger, and she's the person that tracks all of that information for student payments and such for us. Um, we wanna make sure you do understand that for those fees, if there's any financial issues, we know that these are really difficult times. We wanna make sure that you are taken care of. We don't want money or the finances to be a barrier for anyone to participate in what we do here in Rocky Music. And so if you are gonna have an issue with any of that, please do contact Mrs. Pettinger directly and then she can work through that situation with you. Um, I think the key, keep in the back of your mind that constantly changing times, who knows? Maybe we'll be allowed to have concerts again come January and we'll wanna do concert attire. Um, and we would communicate that with you and then we'd work with families who need the assistance to make sure that they can participate fully. We are very much looking forward to seeing you soon, whether it be online, or in person, and please reach out if you have any questions about uniforms, fees, or equipment. Thanks. To close, we've come full circle back to the main entrance of the auditorium. We know that our music classes are important to our students for more than just learning music. It's their family, their sanctuary, and their source of joy. It's a place they work together as a team to be creative and bond with their peers. The current buzzwords are social-emotional learning, and music classes are designed to provide all of these experiences so important for social development. We will be doing everything we can to maintain this important aspect. We are revamping our program and department bonding activities. We're challenging our leadership teams in all three areas to look for new and exciting ways to come together when we're forced to be apart. And we're looking at new ways to use our classes to provide group activities. Every one of our students is important for our success. We're so excited that you have joined us on this journey. While we will all be learning during this time, we can't help but end with our 2020 Rocky mantra, we got this.